It does not take much to establish that we live in worrying times in Ghana, in West Africa, and in much of Africa. The times, they are troubling. I will give only one figure, as we are going to be tight on time, for the enormity of the task involved in discussing this subject. The September Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana report put food inflation at 51.9%. 51.9%. There is no other way to describe this than that it is an explosive disaster. This would be so anywhere for food prices rising that fast will challenge the harmony and social stability of any country on earth. We cannot afford to be complacent when things are in this space and we are also heading to elections in, in 2024. Too many people in Ghana live in mass misery. Too many people have nothing to lose. If those who have most to lose, the bourgeoisie, the upper classes, the ruling elites, just sit and watch the cracks, eventually the bottom of the market of society will drop out. It may not be a beautiful and controlled drop. If we do nothing now, which is already quite late, we could see a detonation. James Baldwin's The Fire Next Time could easily become our fire right here. This must become an urgent responsibility for us all. We cannot sit and simply be spectators as the society falls apart. We get involved because we are citizens, not because we have partisan political ambitions. We, citizens, fought for and secured this Fourth Republic of Ghana. The Fourth Republican Constitution, however imperfect it may have turned out to be in the hands of a predatory political class, was born dripping with blood, tears, and sweat. The blood of the many patriots who died in battle against military dictatorship, the tears of the martyrs, the victims of persecution by the Ghanaian Gestapo of that era, and their relatives and loved ones who lived in fear at what could happen. Of course, as well as the sweat of all those who still try to eke out an honest buck in this impossible economic set of circumstances that characterize our existence. In 30 years of the Fourth Republic, we have created a society in which seven out of 10 of our compatriots live in poverty, having to get by on average family size budgets, and these family sizes are on average five, average some family size budgets of 140 Ghana CDs a day. Five people, 140 Ghana CDs a day. That is the average that is available to 70% of the population. It is a crime against humanity that we have allowed this to happen.